what does research on uh, folinic acid or leucovorin in autism show? Well, first, there has been some research showing that the presence of these folate receptor autoantibodies is higher in autism. Um, there has also been research uh, showing uh, reduced levels of folate um, in autism. And there have been research studies showing improvement in language and communication and other aspects of autism with um, supplementation using um, folinic acid or leucovorin for a subset of autistic children. The benefits are greatest for those children who also have the autoantibodies to the folate receptor, but children who don't have those in their blood have also shown improvement in language and communication with leucovorin. Now it's important to know that um, the research trials that have been done so far looking at leucovorin and autism have been very small and so much more research is needed. But one of the reasons why physicians are able to use um, leucovorin uh, even though the research studies have been small so far is because we're always thinking about weighing the potential risks of anything we do with the potential benefits. And if the be potential benefits outweigh the potential risks it's something that um, we are able to do in our practice. And because leucovorin, which is folinic acid, is a water-soluble um, vitamin, vitamin B9, it can be used very, very safely. So that's one of the reasons why it's, it's a therapy that can be used um, in many autistic children. It's important to know that with any intervention, even with um, supplementation using vitamins, there can be side effects. And uh, because leucovorin, when it is used, is often used at quite high doses, um, it's even more important to be aware of the side effects. So the potential side effects include irritability, agitation, and of course those can then affect behavior, might lead to increased behaviors like aggression or self-injury. There can be some disturbance to sleep, um, but the good news is that these side effects are usually temporary and short-term. So in my experience, even if those side effects are present at the start of the, med of the uh, medication, or if they come on later when uh, we increase the dose, um, usually within a few weeks, those side effects will subside, and then we can see if there are benefits 